The Regal has been Buick's best-selling car ever since the nameplate was introduced in 1973. The explanation is simple. The Regal and Regal Limited series offer an impressive combination of comfort and luxury, while the Regal T-Type offers remarkable performance based on one of the most sophisticated production engines in the world. In research conducted last year, the Regal consistently emerged as the Buick among those tested that was rated one of the most personally expressive. That capability of equipping the Regal to meet so many different personal needs attracts many younger and younger thinking buyers. Young professionals building careers are excellent Regal prospects. Young married couples are others. But of all your Regal prospects, women are among the most important. Women constitute a larger portion of Regal buyers than of any other car in its class. Even when the Regal buyer is male, some women still influence more than three quarters of the sales. Regal's traditionally high resale value also makes it attractive to fleet and lease operators. One final note. Every feature you're about to see is standard, unless we tell you otherwise. So now let's watch a Regal walk around that can help you make the most of the many Regal sales opportunities that come your way. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I'm always happy to see the friends of my satisfied customers, and I'm confident I'll be able to add you to the list once you look at the Regal and take it out on the road. For a young married couple, it's one of the most suitable mid-sized cars on the market. And one of the reasons I say that is because, as you'll see, this rear-wheel drive Regal Limited Coupe has a very impressive list of standard equipment. It also has an impressively long list of options, so you can equip the Regal to fit your lifestyle exactly. Tailor it so it becomes a very expressive statement of the things you like to do. Uh, really, Mr. Smith, owning the car that's right for you is as important as furnishing your home in your own special style. After all, as you told me, you're in your car a big part of every day. Uh, you probably know that from a technological standpoint, Buick is a leader in the automotive industry. Buick has done extensive work in electronics and turbocharging. Uh, let's start at the front of the car. Naturally, Buick also pays a great deal of attention to aerodynamics. Now look at the Regal's profile. Notice the wedge-shaped front, the high rear deck with a raised lip at the edge, and the squared-off rear roof line. This profile is a very aerodynamically efficient shape. But the Regal is also a classically handsome car. This is a look that's not going to go out of style in the near future. So the changes from year to year are very well thought out. From 1985, many of the exterior colors are new. The grille is also new. It has a different texture. And Mr. Smith, since you mentioned that you do a lot of weekend traveling, you should be interested in these optional tungsten halogen headlamps, which generate more than twice the candle power of standard sealed beam units. They're excellent on long highway trips. Well, let's take a look under the hood. I've already released the inside lock that acts as a theft deterrent. And notice the underhood light. The Regal is full of thoughtful details that make it a pleasure to own and to drive. GM is famous for its V6 engines, and this is one of the finest and most advanced in the industry. It's a 3.8 liter V6 with a two barrel carburetor, and it's standard on the Regal. Every Regal has at least one computer which controls the air fuel mixture and other functions. Uh, Mr. Smith, you told me that you put a lot of miles on your car for business. Did you know you can equip the Regal with an optional diesel engine, which offers impressive mileage? It's a 4.3 liter V6. The standard transmission on the Regal is a three-speed automatic. Oh, uh, come around to the side with me. Standard tires on the Regal are these steel-belted, low-rolling resistance radio ply white walls. These tires have been engineered for several extra pounds of air pressure. The result is you get improved fuel efficiency as well as a smooth and firm ride. But the Regal takes on a really sporty look when you add black sidewall tires and optional aluminum road wheels, which are new this year. Power front disc brakes are standard. These disc brakes are fitted with special low drag calipers plus an audible wear indicator, which makes a 
chirping sound when it's time to replace the brake pads. When you use your car as much as you do, Mr. Smith, it's nice not to have to worry about things like brakes and batteries. You know, another reason people spend good money for a fine car is because it looks good, and they want it to keep on looking good. Well, Buick has taken a number of steps to help protect this showroom look. Now, these wheel opening moldings, the wide rocker moldings, and the belt reveal moldings. They're all standard on this Regal Limited. They're designed for added protection in the areas that get rough wear. Now let's take a look in the trunk. It's carpeted, of course. That helps to protect your cargo, and it also helps in sound insulation. Also notice the standard light. That's a big help if you're loading or unloading at night. The trunk is huge. It's got 16.2 cubic feet of volume. That'll make it a lot easier bringing home those antiques from the weekend jaunts, Mrs. Smith. The lightweight spare tire saves space, too, and it's easy to handle if you ever have to replace one of the regular tires temporarily. Let's move around to the driver's door. The chrome side view mirrors are standard on both sides. When you open the door, I think you'll get a really good idea of why the Regal sells so well. The look is gorgeous. The level of trim is exceptionally high. Now, many of the interior colors are new for 1985. So is the simulated wood grain door panel on the limited model. Now, by the way, power steering is standard. And this steering wheel is new this year. The tilt steering column is truly a convenient option for someone like you, Mr. Smith, who's in and out of his car all day. The cut pile carpeting is luxurious and very, very durable. That's also an added value when you use your car a lot. Wait till you try these 55-45 notch back seats that are standard on the Limited. They're remarkably comfortable. There are courtesy lights in all the right places, on the instrument panel, the front ashtray, and in the glove box. Now, that electronic tone is a seat belt reminder and a warning that you've left your key in the ignition lock. The multifunction lever puts the controls you use most right at your fingertips. The turn signal, the two-speed recessed windshield wipers and washer, the high-low headlight beam selector, and the optional cruise control. Now, this is another available feature that will tailor the car to your personal requirements. It's completely electronic with both resume and acceleration features. You can increase or decrease your speed one mile an hour with each touch of the appropriate switch. Of course, there are a great variety of first-class Delco sound systems available, from a basic AM radio, which may be deleted for credit, all the way up to this electronically tuned AM-FM combination with cassette player and clock. You can also order a graphic equalizer. You can boost sound performance with these optional extended range speakers or a concert sound speaker system. What can make this car much more than just fine transportation, though, are some of the other Regal options. For example, an electric sliding astro roof, a removable hatch roof, and a cellular telephone. Plus, there's a complete selection of fine power options, such as six-way power seats, power windows, and door locks, and electronic touch climate control. But before we look at those, I'd like very much to have you take the car for a demonstration drive so that you can see how well-suited the Regal is to your lifestyle. Your 1985 Regal T-Type prospects will be pleased by several improvements to Buick's top performance car. Standard equipment now includes Power Master Brakes, a new system that supplies brake boost by an additional electric hydraulic pump instead of the power steering pump. Power Master Brakes are a demand system that cuts in only when the accumulator calls for additional boost. It's more energy efficient and also 20 pounds lighter than the system it replaces. Other changes on the 1985 T-Type include available cloth-trimmed Lear Siegler bucket seats.
Now let's review the important Regal product changes for 1985. A new model lineup. Regal Coupe. Regal Limited Coupe. Regal T-Type Coupe. The sedans have been dropped. New grille. New standard wheel cover. Many new exterior colors. Many new interior colors. New interior fabric on the custom. New available aluminum wheel. Cellular telephone is available. On the T-Type, Powermaster brakes are standard. That's a correct answer. Good work. Let's see what's next. Congratulations! You got that one right. Let's go on. That answer is right. You really know your stuff. Right again. You're very, very smart. Uh-uh, you goofed. Let's go back and look at that section again. I'm sorry, that's not right. Let's review that material. That's another wrong answer. We'll go back to that section. You missed again on the same car. Please pay very close attention while I review this material for you. In 1985, the Buick Action Library has taken a strong new direction to provide the greatest help possible to you, the Buick sales force, to do what we're all in business for, to sell more Buicks. But we also know that one of the most effective ways to help you do your job is to let you see how other salespeople do their jobs, especially those among you that are judged to be the best. Last year, Adrian Collier, winner of the Presentation of the Century Contest of Dale Buick in Littleton, Colorado, made an outstanding demonstration of how he presents a century to a prospect. Adrian was so convincing that we asked him back to demonstrate the century again this year. In fact, the presentation of the century competition was so effective that we decided to renew the contest, this time with a new front-wheel drive Electra. It's my great pleasure to present the winner of the 1985 Electra Park Avenue Challenge, Brian Joyce from Joyce Buick in Mansfield, Ohio. Hi, my name is Brian Joyce. I understand that you have an interest in our 1985 Electra. That's an excellent choice because Buick has made a commitment to build this car with zero defects. And that type of commitment is obvious right here in the interior of the car. You see, Buick has designed this car with the science of ergonomics. And ergonomics is designing a car to have maximum accessibility, maximum ease of operation, while still being aesthetically pleasing and comfortable. And comfortable the Electra is. When you sit down in it, you'll be surprised at the amount of room and level of luxury that you have in the car. There's plenty of room for six adults. In many respects, this interior is larger than the car it replaces, a last year's Electra. And with this new padded pillow seat design and standard 55-45 seat, we've improved the lumbar support as well as the lateral hip room. We even have more leg room in this car than we did in last year's car in the front seat. This interior is so impressive when compared to certain import models such as some Mercedes, BMWs, and Audis in many respects, our interior is larger. We've made the car quieter, too. There's an all-new acoustical package in the headliner. It has a fiberglass pad here to cut down on noise. And we cover this headliner with a new fabric. We could run this glass right to the door glass and to the windshield, so we've eliminated the garnish molding, giving the car a much richer look. There's an extendable shade here on the sun visor to cut down on glare. There's a side window defogger to take some condensation off the side glass. The entire instrument cluster is more highly visible, so you can see things at a glance, like the standard trip odometer. I mentioned ergonomics before, in the imports. This car has, as a fact, a better ergonomic design in the interior than any of those imports I mentioned. That's obvious when you look at things like our multi-function switch. Right here at our fingertips, we have the control for the cruise control, the turn signals, the high and low beams of the headlamps, and the wipers. And the sounds in your Electra will never be an unpleasant sound. We have a pleasant chime for the key as well as the warning chime on the seat belts. The sounds of the standard AM-FM stereo radio can be upgraded to the ultimate sound system 
This is a Delco Bose radio. This radio puts out 50 watts per channel for the real listening connoisseur. And ergonomics is once again at work here with our touch climate control air conditioning. You could upgrade the manual air conditioning to the touch climate control air conditioning, or with the touch of one finger, you could change the interior temperature as well as the blower speed. And for your convenience, we have located here inside the glove box an electric trunk release and electric fuel filler door release. Also conveniently located, we have the controls for the power seats, power door locks, and power mirror right here on the armrest control panel. We've even improved the carpeting in this car. It has a new needled polypropylene carpet that has a special bonding and cutting done to it to eliminate that frayed look that so often the interior of a car gets. We've increased the light in the door and courtesy warning lights in the Electra. In 1985, Electra's interior hasn't lost a thing. It's gained. I think it's obvious when you take a look at the shape of the car, it's been designed in a wind tunnel. That is, the nose of the car is much lower than the tail. It actually has a very functional silhouette to knife through the air more easily, so there's less wind drag on the car and better fuel economy. Even this windshield's flush mounted. That is, the glass has flush mounted to the body of the car. We've eliminated the molding here, so there's less wind drag and less wind noise, all again for better fuel economy. And I think if you look at the body of the car, the best way to describe it is smoothness. That's because Buick uses the latest technology available in robotics. We have one unique tool called a Robogate Framer. This tool has a round hole in the body of the car to accept the door. In the conventional car, there would be a slot here where you'd shim the door forward or back or up or down to align it with a fender. Not so in the Electra. It goes together only one way, the precise right way. These body panels are aligned to within one four hundredths of an inch. We do this with the accuracy of a laser beam. That's why when you open and close the door of this car, the sound is even different. Sounds almost like a refrigerator door closing because it seals so well. That's due in part two because we have a new rubber molding here on the door for less effort necessary to close it. We've improved the sealing of the Electra. On the rocker panel, we have a plastisol spray. This makes for a much harder surface, so the car is less vulnerable to stone chips and less chance of rust getting started. We've put a plastic cushion here between the body of the car and the molding. That way, there's less chance of rust getting started there. We've made the door panels thicker, and we've sprayed in inside the doors with an aluminized wax spray. Much of the car is galvanized, and the entire floor pan of the car is galvanized. This car is so well protected against rust through, it now carries a five-year or 100,000-mile rust through guarantee. We give the car a very unique finish, too. Before it's assembled, we give the bare body a phosphate wash. That is, we remove all foreign matter from the body of the car. Then we dip it in an anti-corrosion tank, where the primer coat is electrostatically bonded right to the body of the car. Then we hand sand this primer coat to get the smoothest possible surface. Then, and only then, do we spray on two coats of a colored paint. On top of that, we spray on two coats of a clear acrylic. This gives the car a much deeper and higher acrylic luster. You might notice, too, on the Electra, we have a painted body pinstripe. No decals on the outside of the 85 Electra. In 1985, we offer your choices of three engines. The 3.0 liter V6, the 4.3 liter diesel, and the truly exciting 3.8 liter fuel injected V6 engine. This front opening hood is a Buick exclusive, and it, too, is an advantage. You see, it makes for a lower reachover. And with a lower reachover, everything under the hood is more accessible and therefore less costly to work on. But here's the truly exciting part of our car. It's the fuel-injected V6. You see, there are six Bosch injectors here on this fuel rail, one for each cylinder. This gives us the most precise metering possible of fuel. It enhances the car's performance, economy, and efficiency. You can tell at a glance it has to be more efficient because of the clean, uncluttered look we have under the hood. We've been able to remove many of the emission control devices that formerly smothered the car's performance. The economy's here, too. That's due in part to the standard overdrive transmission that allows this car to work its engine 30% less hard than what the conventional transmission would. I said the performance is better, and it is. This car has the capability, with our fuel-injected engine, of going from 0 to 60 in 12 and a half seconds really sports car performance in a luxury car. 
And to add to that performance, Buick has rack and pinion steering standard. This is a much more responsive type of steering than what the conventional recirculating ball has. We also have a four-wheel independent suspension with a modified McPherson strut suspension in the front. This allows each wheel to move over the unevenness of the road separately, giving you a better ride. In the rear of the car, we have a different suspension. As I said, it's completely independent. Each wheel can move separately. We have Pliacel shocks. These are completely gas-filled shock instead of having an air-filled shock. In the rear of the Electra, we have automatic level control standard. So when you have six passengers in your new Electra and a trunk full of luggage, it'll automatically come right back up to level. The Electra has something I love, and that is front wheel drive. You see the weight of the engine is directly over the drive wheels. This causes the drive wheels to dig in in the ice and snow and slippery conditions. But it does more than that. Because this engine is mounted transversely or sideways, we've eliminated the long, heavy drive shaft and the weight of the third member that was necessary to turn power around to the rear wheels. We cool the brakes in a different way, too. There's a special phenolic lining on the inside of this inboard pad in the front brakes. This allows the system to run more cool. We cool the engine in a different way, too. There's an all-new aluminum radiator. It's one-third lighter than the conventional brass and copper radiator, so it's better on fuel economy, but it's also more easily serviced. We could service it in the dealership rather than having it sent out to a specialty shop, so there's less downtime. We have these outside coach lamps. They're handsome, but they're also high in visibility at night. The rear tail lamps are very highly visible and very easily changed. When you open the trunk, just the turn of two thumb screws, and you can change these tail lamp bulbs in a snap. Everything inside the trunk is accessible, and it's a huge trunk. There's over 15.7 cubic feet. Things are easy to reach, such as the power antenna. Just pull the liner loose here, and you can service it in an instant. The Electra is important to talk about and impressive to talk about, but we really should go on a demonstration ride. And on that demonstration ride, I'll explain to you some Buick exclusive options, such as our keyless entry system, or a Posi power battery, which is actually two batteries in one. One side of the battery is used for the accessories, the other side for the cranking of the engine. So if you were to accidentally leave your headlights on overnight, when you came out in the morning, most likely you'd be able to get your new Electra started. But let's go for a demonstration ride right now and let the Electra prove itself. Let's review the important 1985 Electra product changes. New exterior colors. New standard Park Avenue wheel cover. New interior colors. Standard Park Avenue radio is AM FM stereo full feature. New sport steering wheel is standard on the T-Type and available on other Electras.